Hello, welcome to another clip. So today, um, as you can probably see by the title, um, we're going to Leicester um, with uh, Mr. The Fire. So as you can see behind me, we've got the Brayford and the Tesco's that way. Uh, I need to go and get a drink because as you can see, it's a lovely day today. So plan of action, get drinks, walk down to the train station that way. Um, and um, hop on the train, probably play switch, and then we're going to meet um, Ignite in Loughborough and then head to Leicester for the day. Um, I'm not sure what else is happening because I'm only going for two days, but there's plenty more coming up in terms of travel clips. Hoping to go to Grantham soon and also Grimsby Town. So, yes, uh, we'll continue when we're at the train station. As you can see the Brayford, just thought I'd do another shot just to show the waterway. It's still quite mossy. Um, I don't know if that's just because of, of the season. Well, al 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 algae, algae, whatever you want to call it. But um, it's even more um, apparent further up um, at the end. But yeah, um, Tesco's for some cold drinks. And just as I film the sun goes away, classic. Okay, so we, as you can see, at the train station now. Apparently the next train is an hour away. So I've got to wait on 5A, which is just past that, that building there. So yeah, I'll see you later. So as the sun is behind the clouds, as you can see, as I did show before, we're at the train station. Uh, this line actually goes past uni, so I don't get why there's not a small stop there even though it's like a 15 minute walk away. Doesn't matter really. But um, yeah, so um, also the plan of action, as I have said, you know, go around Leicester today. But um, I'm also going to be, be looking for some games. Uh, Monster, Hunter, M M Monster Hunter Stories 2, which yeah, I need to play as I'm a big M M Monster Hunter guy. I'm not gonna call them monsters though. I know, I know that's the term for a monster which helps you, but it's a monster. Staying a monster, you wouldn't call it Monster Hunter. <laughs> but also, uh, I'm going to be looking lo 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 for Witcher Complete um, Edition on, on PS4 solely because I want to stream that and make a, uh, um, a series. And I'm also planning to, to start streaming Horizon soon. Still don't like the, uh, the, um, the um, controls, but let's hope the gameplay will save it because Ignite loves the game and I, I got it based on his recommendation. Same with God, uh, God of War. And he was not wrong about God of War, so I hope it'll be the same with Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, uh, I got about 40, 50 minutes until the Leicester train. So I think it's gonna be switch time for uh, a, a little bit. So yeah, I'll either do some B-roll on the train or cut to when it, it, it might boss the train or Leicester. Let's go. It's a very cool, is it? Well, it's kind of, it looks like a Helter Skelter as a rocket. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a silver letter. Oh. Yeah. And yes. I have capabilities of reading. We... Reading, I mean reading. But without the R, I'm saying reading. Reading. <laughs> reading, yes. Reading. And we're joined by Ignite the Vire. <laughs> yes, with all of my hair from Christmas always. Yes, and as you can see, we are back in Leicester. So first call of action is to go shopping and we need food. Yes, shopping at Leicester. So yeah, let's continue in this direction. Yeah, here we have a even cooler one, which uh, Ignite said, and he is totally right. L look I at the- It's clearly for some sort of promotion type thing. I don't yeah. I mean like the cool blue gradient into, whoa. It looks like uh, some kind of jewel like lapis and uh, into the other design right here, which works really well. It's quite a, a beautiful thing. And the thing with these, like, like the Lincolnshire imps, um, which you've seen uh, on previous videos. They're all handmade by um, local artists, which I find so cool. And that's a cool building. What? This brings floor pads to a whole new... Oh no! Ignite and his obsession with floor tiles. This is truly, truly <laughs> uh, I can't lie, like, Europe as, uh, as a whole has really nice tiles. Uh, Excluding oh, that, uh, excluding that, uh, that and rubbish, but Europe is known for its tiled pathways. Hey, for all you know, rubbish is part of the art. Never, you know, judge art that way. Yeah, it's like there was like a. It's an art by its cover, even though art is. Cover. 
There was a art, well, an art piece. It was literally spaghetti tipped over and it sold for 50 grand. <laughs> I'm like, what? 50 grand for moldy spaghetti? No, thank you. I mean, you'd be surprised. You can draw a circle, paint it in, and then to pull it or you can sell it out for a few grand. Oh, easy. But yes, let's continue in this direction. Yeah, up the far end. Another amazing spaceship egg design. Hey, we're stopping at, at, at the best store, Gourmet. Gammy? Yes, Gammy. I love um, me some Gammy and eggs. And a sports direct toe. <laughs> so yeah, this is weird. We've never seen a game inside a sports direct, well, so this is actually... It's all complex and one thing in my Yeah, it, it, uh, as, well, as in I said. It's probably cheaper the game, so it's like, yeah, let's save. Well, yeah, 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 because yeah, it's not just a whole separate complex, you know, they can just... I, I don't know if they lease it from sports direct or the building. Um, pl and police fan, um, but yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, there's a massive protest going down down and down there, so we're staying uh, away from it. Um, but yeah, let's go into Gourmet. Here we have a giant clock tower. So we have been to a McDonald's now. Oh yeah, and there's another uh, one of the rocket um, ship um, egg things back there yeah, with a yeah, very shaky zoom in. <laughs> but yes, um, I don't know where we're going now, but we're going to co continue going this way and, and see I have sugar. what we can find. Yes, and I just downed a whole bottle of it of him too. <laughs> I like sugar. <laughs> I like sugar too, and it makes him hyper. Oh no, run away! <laughs> but anyway, we're going to co continue down here. My joking face. Yeah, he is definitely, definitely not, not joking. <laughs> I'm definitely 100% totally serious about my hyperness right now. Can't you see just how expressive and loud my tone of voice is? Yeah, but that is definitely the. Over top and hyper. That is the epitome of over, over the top hypeness. But yeah, let's continue towards the sun. And that comes without a hint of sarcasm or something about. Exactly. Cut. Ooh. All they did was ignite drink, and drinking coke next to an epic statue. One thing I, I don't get is why so many people want to tear down the statues. I know some of them might be of slavers, but it's the history. And in Richard's time, he would have heard car alarms like that all too often. Yeah, see. 1483 to 1485. I'm going to assume that was his reign rather than his time of life on the planet. Um, might have been his life. What? Two years? Well, uh, I mean, oh, this guy oh, was sorry. A year older. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, that would have been his reign, but this guy just yeah. Some out. some um, kings didn't reign long, but then there were some like uh, like Henry VIII or something who, who reigned fairly long for for their time. It's okay, Luke. Math is hard. I think the longest reign currently documented is slightly longer than the uh, than the queen. Mm. So if she lives in, until she's like a hundred, then she'll take the record for the longest living monarch. Didn't Queen Victoria recently celebrate because of the longest reign? Uh, um, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh yeah, Elizabeth. Um, I don't know. She uh, um, she might have done. Uh, I'll have to double check. But yeah cool area we're still technically in the city but we've just walked down one of the side streets and we've got the nice church here as well so yeah interesting okay we are on the way back to Loughborough um, yeah there wasn't too much filmed in Leicester because frankly we didn't do much so we're gonna continue tomorrow um, and I'm also gonna film a little bit in Loughborough today so see you back Hi. in Loughborough yeah. oh wow that is I'm going to screenshot that. <laughs> oh, right now it's nearly, nearly, nearly midnight. Me and Ignite are about to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I had Chinese, which was actually quite good. And I'm not normally a fan of Chinese. So, yes, um, tomorrow we're having people come, coming over. And I, I'm definitely buying an energy drink. I need my caffeine. I need my monster. Or, or, or an ice, ice cold Lucas Aid. So, yeah, probably no more clips today. But, yeah. See you all tomorrow, and that was horrible framing. Jesus, getting around bloody hell on my next day. Um, and yeah, the lads will be coming later. Me and the guys are just going to the shops and then heading back. This area is actually quite overgrown now, so and yeah, as you can see, I've walked quite far out. Um, 
nearly, I think I've done about halfway of the loop around. So let's continue straight. Okay, so we're just watching through the forest with Mr. the Fire. So yes, uh, um, so as I said, whilst I was walking around the big loop, um, we're going sharp. Just, uh, I'm not going to get loads, but I'm just going to get a, a few things. Um, then we're going to go back and chill. Yeah. When you have to rush out to find your friend because he doesn't know where to go. Oh, Flynn. Okay, so we've got Edward's concoction here. Rum and vodka. This will be fun. Oh boy, here Don't we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Come on, dude! I drank it down faster than that. That's not not rum and vodka. You got to get it down your gullet, and that oh. was definitely rum and rum and vodka. Oh, that's nasty. oh, I think it's safe to say that Luke did not like that very much. Oh, no, no. Nah. Nah. I Okay, so I've not really shown much with the lads. Uh, the previous clip you might have seen, Ed made a con uh, concoction. I still have a drink in, in my hand. But don't worry, I've not drunk too, too much. The lads are in the hot tub now, so I'm not going to show that. But yeah, thanks to Edward, thanks to Flynn for coming over. It's been amazing to see you guys, and also, of course, um, Ignite the Fire. Me and Ignite are going to go around Loughborough tomorrow and visit a shop called Goodies. And, pop, and, pop, and possibly see, see a movie in cinema um, and then I'll be head, heading back on the train Pro probably not much is going to happen Saturday night probably just me chilling and having uh, a takeout two pieces, yes please <laughs> but then on the Sunday probably just going to stream then on the Monday um, see how we ignite and get my uni results so that's scary um, but on that regard, uh, I did receive an email addressed to Year 2 students, so that's giving me slight hope. But I'm still scared and senseless. So yeah, from this uh, very colourful area, um, let's probably see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is now Saturday and I'm back in Loughborough. So um, Ignite has, um, has gone to have his second jab, but he's walking back now. So he'll be arriving back soon. Then of course we're going to go around a few shops and then head to Cineworld which is in that direction. So yeah, just going to con continue waiting outside the Odeon for him to arrive. So as you can see just behind the tree right there is the Carinian Court. Of course we've been to this park many a times and of course you know we've got the fountain over there. I just wanted somewhere nice to sit down whilst I wait, wait for it um, ignite. This, this park has a, a lot of memories, like we used to go on there, do like lightsaber fights, swing around on, on that swing. You know, you've, you've got the park over there as well. And we even remember when it was changed, so yeah, memories. Oh, um, we have just finished a Free Guy, as you can see by the posters, we are in the cinema. Um, my opinion on it is that it was bloody amazing. The concept of, you know, a video game character being alive is very cool to me. Um, yeah, uh, I even bought more stuff, including homemade fudge, which is in that bag, um, which is damn good, by the way. But yeah, um, I think the next stop is the train station, so I know Ignite hasn't really appeared on, on camera, he's gone uh, to the toilet. So yeah, let's go to wherever we're, we're going next. <laughs> and yeah, respect. <laughs> the view again from the Cineworld. Traditional English telephone box. But yes, we're back at the train station now. Uh, I was just told to wait for somebody to come, so I'm just gonna do that. But it's uh, nearly five now, and I've gotta wait till six for my train. So that means I'm going to get back into Lincoln around half seven local, and be back at my column for about eight o'clock. Oh boy, never mind. <laughs> you have to admit though, England not, not raining. Shocking, but yeah, it's been quite a warm day, so of course I am really tired and logging around that stuff as well. Hello, train ticket. But yeah, um, so there's a little hint uh, in my bag. Um, you'll probably see this before the video comes out, as I plan to stream it tomorrow. But we're going to be starring a Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on PS4. Um, I have played the game before. 
Um, I've just never streamed it as I have it on the Switch. So I will know what I'm doing. I will know what I'm talking about at least. So yeah, uh, Sunday, which is t and tomorrow at the time of recording, um, you'll be seeing a Witcher Free Wild Hunt um, stream. So I hope that's going to be enjoyable. And of course, the Rocket League and that uh, well, Mon Monster Hunter Iceborne will be also continuing next week. I can't tell you when this is going to be uploaded because I'll be f focusing on streams. Um, but I might put a title here just saying how long it's been since recording. AKA me, future editing me. It's Saturday. The. I don't even know the date. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, best way to pass the time at Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh. So, as you can see, that video was filmed quite a while ago now. It must have been about two, three weeks ago. Um, due to delays and the stream resurgence. Um, I've been focusing on that. Um, in that clip, I was worried about my resets. So this would have been the start of September, but I passed those with flying colours. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and sorry for this massive delay. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the, in the next one. And also, I've seen your poll a little short on money currently, but once that's been sorted out, we'll be doing another travel documentary video. Bye.